Hey everyone, welcome back to Luna's Puzzles. Today I have a special unboxing video and I'm actually a little late to the party on this one, but it's Pusheen's Box 10th Anniversary. Um, I've been getting Pusheen boxes for I think a couple years now. I started when they first started the boxes. I'm obsessed with Pusheen. I think I've mentioned this on a few videos now. <laughs> so I just wanted to open up the 10th anniversary one for you to show you what's inside. Um, if you've ever seen the boxes for the Pusheen box, they all are Pusheen and I absolutely love it. And look, they even have little feeties. It's adorable. So without any further ado, let's open it up. I haven't opened it yet. I've just taken the plastic off because you don't need to see me doing that part. All right. So I am super excited. Oh, I also have a brand new camera stand. You might notice that it's a little farther away from the mat this time. So hopefully I won't be going outside of range. So got a cute little index card with everything that comes in. I like to look at those at the end because I just like to be surprised. And first up is, oh my gosh, a cute sweater. Oh, that is adorable. So it is a white sweater. It looks like a raglan with pink sleeves. I tried to put it up there so you can see and just can't see it except for the design. And it looks like it has a cute little sushi. Oh, that is so adorable. I love it. So I'm going to be putting that on later. Let me just move that to the side for now. Oh, what do I start with first? Okay, I'm going to go for the flush. Oh, that is adorable. Okay, so I should have expected that there was going to be a plush in this box, but it, it's Pusheen and eating a pizza with little stars. Oh, that's adorable. That is so cute. You know, I'm actually thinking about my next ta getting a tattoo and having it be Pusheen. I just love this little cat so much. All right, so... It looks like it's a pom-pom string garland. Oh, that's so cute. I'm going to probably decorate my space with it. Oh, look, and you can see there's little pusheens in it. It's a little hard. Let's just open this up so I can show you. I'm trying to see if there's an easy opening to this. But there is not. You know what? Scissors. <laughs> I have freed the pusheen. Oh, that's so cute. So you can see the little lights. There we go. Now we're in focus. And it has cute little pom poms. I don't have any batteries right now to get this to work. So, but it is adorable. Oh, I don't want to untangle it, so I'm gonna leave it in the plastic for now. Alrighty, so let's see. We have Pusheen Cotton Mesh Tote Bag. Oh, that is so good because I am always losing my reusable bags. Either I forget them or they are still filled at home with like canned goods I haven't put away. I'm really bad. Are you guys like that too? Where you kind of just like sometimes if it's not refrigerated items, you'll just kind of like leave it for a little bit later. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, so it's a little bit, so it's small, but this will be good if I'm just running into the store for a couple things. Uh, my state right now is no longer doing plastic bags, so everyone has to do reusable bags. There's a couple places that'll do plastic bags for you, um, like Walmart, but I don't like getting them. Oh, and look, he has a little, she has a little hamburger. Oh, that is so adorable. I absolutely love this. I'm gonna put that with my actual stuff so I don't put it away later. Oh, cute, a salt and pepper shaker set. So let's open this up and take a look at it. Ooh, those are actually pretty nice looking bottles. Oh, good. It didn't have the P and S on top. So it is, I don't know if you can hear that, it is an actual glass bottle with Pusheen and Stormy on it. Stormy has a little, a little hamburger. 
Oh, they both have peas on top. Okay, so I'll have to remember, you know, to make one salt. Or just do two things in pepper. I don't actually have a dining table to put them at, so my peppers actually are on like a Lazy Susan right next to my stove. So that's probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the bottles and put them there. A do not eat packet. Oh, an easel dust calendar. That is so good. At least for me. Since I am always here at my desk. Let's just take a look at it. You know, a lot of times for the Pusheen stuff, I find that I use almost everything. You know, sometimes for some loop boxes uh, or subscription crates, you don't always use everything. But always with Pusheen, I find a use for something. And if I don't, I find it as a cute gift for a friend. Oh, these are so cute. I love all of them. Oh, and the ice cream. Oh, this is absolutely adorable. Where am I going to put it? Okay. I'm going to have to make room on my desk. And the packaging is so cute. I hate throwing it away. But I will recycle it. Or try it. Maybe I'll try upcycling it later. All right. We're going to go for this one. A melamine plate set of two. Oh, that is cute. I don't know if I can eat off of these. Not sure if I'm gonna want to eat off of these or just have them displayed, but we're gonna open it up. Okay. So I'm just looking to see okay, hand wash only, do not microwave, not dishwasher safe. So I probably won't use these for anything more than something like cookies or crackers. You know, something easy that I can just wipe off and clean with uh, mild dish soap. But I just want to see if they're both the same pattern underneath. So they are. They're both this cute little pattern of Pusheen with a ice cream. So I will put those away, you know, give them a quick little rinse off with hot water, and then I will put them away. For now, they're going to go back in the box. Oh, that is so cute. I absolutely love it. So tell me, guys, what is your favorite piece of this box so far? I know we still have two more things to go into, but I really want to know. Did you like, would you like to get one of these things? Pusheen sometimes has some extra stuff for sale or extra boxes once all of the subscribers have gotten theirs. So I really am excited. I'm sorry, I'm cutting. I had to cut away for a second because one of my friends stopped over. So I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, yes, I was hoping or I, I want to know what you guys think of the box. Have you seen this box already? Do you get one? All right, I'm going to see what these glasses look like. Ooh. I'm afraid I'm going to break them. I'll break the styrofoam. You know, I don't care for styrofoam because it's not really recyclable. There we go. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, that's a little disappointing. Okay, so... For one thing, some of the styrofoam stuck to the thing, stuck to this. But the other thing is also, you can see it's a sticker, and the sticker is literally... Oh, no, that's just a protective for the pusheen. Never mind, I'm not disappointed at all. I'm okay with it. <laughs> so it looks like it's just a protective for the pusheen. Which is perfectly okay, because styrofoam got stuck to it. So I'm going to leave that on for just a second. I'm going to look and see. Looks like the other one is a Pusheen with a hamburger. So I'll pull that one out. Yeah, it's a hamburger. Oh, that's so cute still, though. I like how it's all food-related for this set. Okay. Oh, I 
hate throwing away, like, just straight trashing items. If I can recycle it, I like to. But there's really no way to recycle styrofoam. That I know of in my state. Maybe one of you guys will know something that I can do. Alright. And last is the Pusheen Vinyl. Oh, I love the little figures. I have most of them lined up in front of my TV. My cat absolutely loves them. And I say that sarcastically because my cat likes to use that as a walkway. So they do not like having their space taken up. But look at this little Pusheen with the donut. Oh, it is so cute. Oop. So it is like a soft vinyl. It's not as, um, I mean, it's hard, but, you know, it has a little give if you squeeze it. Because it doesn't feel like the Funko Pops, to me at least. It um, doesn't feel like as smooth. But, oh, it's so cute. I absolutely adore it. I don't think I'm going to put that up in my room so I can have this vinyl. So, that was the 10th anniversary Pusheen box. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Give a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this um, when I see when I get my next Pusheen box. Uh, and look forward to the next video. I have a couple more things coming in the mail. And I'm super excited to open them. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.